Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Before we begin, I would just like to give a quick shout out to Life with Amani. Thank you so much for being the first to comment on my last video and for all of your support. And congratulations to Just Janice. You were the one that was picked to win the Ohuhu Poly Gel Contest. So I'll be in contact with you either today or tomorrow. Um, so just look out for an email or Instagram DM from me. Thank you guys all for participating. And I will have another giveaway very, very soon. Possibly in the next week. Wink, wink. So definitely keep an eye out for that and keep your post notifications on because I still have plenty and tons more to give away okay so we're gonna flip the mood a complete 180 um we're doing a story time today and i want to give a trigger warning right now this story is very deep and this story is very deep it is very sad um it's it's a heavy one today guys so if you are triggered by sexual assault all that um then i would probably honestly skip today's story time um, because this is, this is, this is a tough one to get through, but let's get right into it. So this is a story from one of my subscribers. And like I said, if you guys would like me to tell your stories, then you can send me an email or you can DM me on Instagram and all of my information is down below in the description box. But let's get into this story. So we will call the girl Lily. So Lily and her best friend were at the gym one day. And when they went to the gym, Lily's best friend saw her cousin. Her cousin was a personal fitness trainer and he offered to help them work out. So, of course, Lily thinking this is her best friend's cousin, like he's no harm. They went and they worked out with him. And then the following day, he asked to take Lily out on a date. So they went out on a date. They went to the mall and they also went to go thrift shopping. So fast forward a few days later, he offered to work both of them out and train them at his personal residence. So the guy was established. He was almost twice her age and he had a house and he also had a garage attached to it. That was his personal gym. So he offered to, um, he invited them over to go work out in his gym. And again, this being Lily's best friend's cousin, she thinks it's completely no harm. So Lily called her other friend. We'll call the other friend Nelly. Lily called Nelly and told her all about it. Now keep in mind they're all close friends. So it's like a group of three of these girls and they're all very close friends. So Lily called Nelly and told her about it. And of course Nelly thought it was a little bit off because of the huge age gap. So for reference, Lily was 22 and the guy was in his 40s. So her friend Nellie was a little concerned and expressed her concerns. But, but that being her close friend's cousin, didn't think too much into it as well. So like I said, he had offered both of them to come and work out at his personal gym. And they both accepted the offer. But the friend um, didn't wind up going. So the friend whose cousin it was ended up not attending. So it would just be Lily and the guy working out at his house alone. They ended up watching movies all night and and nothing really happened. So now we're getting into the second time he asked her out on another date and asked her to come back over to the house. And she came back over to the house. Now this is where it's going to get uh, kind of graphic. Um, so I'm just giving you fair warning here. So Lily goes over to his house and she's they're both downstairs on the couch watching a movie. And he starts touching her leg and her punani. So she told him that she was not interested in having sexual intercourse because it was too soon. And he backed off. So after the movie was over, he asked her if she wanted to go upstairs. So she did agree and they both went upstairs into his bedroom and he went into the bathroom. So when he came out the bathroom, he only had on his boxers and he got on the bed. So Lily went to the bathroom also. Keep in mind, Lily is on her period and she does have a tampon in. So Lily went to the bathroom and when she came back out, she got inside of the bed and he told her that he didn't want any outside clothes on his bed. So she had to take her clothes off. So she did take her clothes off and they both lay down in bed. And I'll spare the details because like I said, it's going to be very graphic and I want to keep it kind of kind of PG for YouTube. But he ended up 
R A P E her. He R A P E her. And I know you guys know what I'm trying to say. So just to give you a glimpse of what happened, he kept on saying, I need you to say yes. I need you to say yes. And she kept on saying no. And after going back and forth, he was already, you know, penetrating. And keep in mind, guys, keep in mind that Lily was on her period. So she still had his tampon on and he still continued to penetrate. There's just no way you didn't feel that. Like, it's heartbreaking. But anyway, so after this happened, she was traumatized. And this guy is not only twice her age, but he's also twice her size. He's a personal trainer. So keep in mind how big and buff this guy is. So she was scared. Lily went to the bathroom and she was crying and she pushed her harder to try and get the tampon out of her. But it was so far up her. It was it was it was hard to get out. So she eventually got it out and she went back into the room and she wanted to just leave after that, but she had left her stuff in the room. So she had to go back. So they were having a conversation because she didn't want to freak out and make it seem like what happened just happened because keep in mind, this guy is huge and scary and she's in his house. Like, it's not like she can just fight him off. No, he's a personal trainer. He's huge. So completely understand why she would be so scared so after everything happened she leaves and he walks out to the car um and then he is telling her like if she wants a key to his house she can have it and if she wants like his credit card he's just offering like her the world being like I want you to be my girl you can have everything you can have a key to my house you can have uh one of my credit cards like offering everything because he I feel like he probably did this because he knows he was wrong. So as soon as she gets in the car and pulls off, she calls her best friend. She calls not the friend whose cousin this was, because keep in mind, this is her best friend's cousin. She calls the friend that was concerned. She calls Nellie. So she calls Nellie and she's hysteric. She can't even process what just happened. So Nellie tells her that she needs her to calm down and she needs her to go to her house. And Nellie drove her to the hospital because she wanted her to have a RAPE kit done and get all the necessary medication that's needed because it was unprotected. And who knows what he could have had. So Nellie takes her to the hospital and Ellie stayed at the hospital with her. They were there from 12 o'clock at night to 8 a.m. in the morning. And keep in mind, during this whole COVID thing, it's not like you can stay in the hospital with that person. No. So Nellie went home and got her some food and a change of clothes and everything. But you had to get the kit done first before you can like change your clothes and underwear because they need to keep it as proof. She came back to the hospital, gave her her stuff, and she waited in the car until, and basically just waited until she was discharged. So when Lily was discharged, Nellie took her back to her house. They gave her all the medicine. They did all the testing that they needed to do, and they collected all her stuff as evidence um, as to what happened. So now the question is, what do you say to your best friend? Because your best friend's cousin has just sexually assaulted you. And that was the trick that they were both having, trying to figure out what to say. So she decided to file a police report and have that on record in case she wanted to press charges, but she didn't know because she was still so so in awe. So eventually she wa- ended up telling the other friend <clears throat> that her what, about what her cousin did to her. And the other friend was upset about what happened, but she was also kind of in disbelief. So Lily asked both of the friends to go with her to the police station so she could file a report. Because when you file a report, you have to tell everything what happened word for word verbatim. So after this whole thing happened, the police, the detective, asked both friends for their address and their information. They asked the one friend whose cousin it was first. And that friend actually said to the police officer, what do you need my information for? Because she didn't want to give up her information to the detective. She didn't want to be a part of the case at all, even though this was her cousin that did this to her best friend and Nellie and Lily were both just so in shock when that happened 
So the detective asked Nelly what happened. She gave him all the information right away. No questions asked because, you know, obviously you want to be there for your friend. No matter if this is going to be a full blown out case or whatever the case may be, it doesn't matter. There were there should be no questions asked about giving up your information if it's going to help protect your friend after she was just sexually assaulted. Um in my opinion but anyway so after this they both picked up on it and they all walked back to their cars because all three of them drove separately the one friend that that cousin it was just immediately drove off with an attitude like just immediately drove off and long story short did not reach out to lily again so guys this is the girl whose cousin sexually assaulted lily she drove off after filing that police report supposedly being there for her friend and never talked to her again could you imagine your best friend crazy but anyway so now it was really just nelly and lily lily decided to take this case to court and unfortunately lost and i'm not gonna get into details about like the whole case or whatever but she did end up losing the case so obviously you have the option to appeal the case and all but she decided to just put it on halt for now and she is getting therapy because she kind of has PTSD from this situation. So she does see her therapist once a week and she's trying to heal from the situation. But it's just a super sad story because not only did you get, you know, assaulted and 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 disrespected in the worst way, but you also lost your best friend. And it was your best friend's cousin. There's so many details that I left out, like I said, because I want to keep this like PG and it's very triggering, like it's very heartbreaking. But but yeah, so that's the story of Lily's assault. So my take on it, it when I heard this story, it literally like broke my heart. And <clears throat> I reached out to the person that sent it to me and they know my take on this, but I really want to open this up to you guys to leave her words of like encouragement and 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 words of wisdom everything if you've been in similar situations like leave your stories down below if you don't mind because it's just crazy what people have to go through like this story really did break my heart that your best friend's family member did that to you and then it's kind of like they took their cousin's side and they were friends for over 20 years. They're neighbors, guys. Like, they literally live next to each other and they've been friends for over 20 years and you lost your best friend because you got assaulted to someone. It's just mind-blowing and very heartbreaking, but leave your comments down below. It would be greatly appreciated because I know she's going to watch this video and I know she's going to read every single comment. And I really just want her to feel the love because you guys are honestly so amazing and the comments that you guys leave for the past subscriber story times like you guys don't know how helpful and healing they are honestly but but anyway that's the story of lily and if you guys are interested maybe i'll like even expand on it even more in the next video those that was just like the basic rundown of this story there were so many more details that could have been said so let me know if you guys want like a part two of this but thank you guys so much for watching um today is monday so that means that i will see you guys on thursday like i said i do have some more giveaways some more story times and everything and if you made it to the end thank you so much you're a real one and i will see you guys on thursday oh also don't forget to leave me a like comment and subscribe i always forget to say that <laughs> But yeah. All right. See you guys on Thursday. Bye.